So today in the morning, I woke up and the house felt a little chillier than normal. And when I checked the thermostat, sure enough, it's set to 73 and it's only getting to 70. And it's been running for a couple hours. It seems like it's working, but it does not get higher than 70, even though it's set to 73. So it's running, 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 but 70 is as high as it goes. So I decided to make this video real quick to show you what the problem is in my case. So we're down at the furnace and I'm about to show you the most common problem, why your thermostat is not reaching its set point. So, I'm pretty sure you can't hear it on camera, but the fan just sounds a lot louder than normal. So, if you look at the filter here, um, if you try to pull it out, first of all, it's really sucked in there. And it's hard to pry it off. And then if I try to pull it out, it's really tough coming out. And I don't know if you heard that, but right when I took that filter out, you could just hear the fan kind of ramp down a little bit. So this was restricting the airflow. You can kind of see how it's sucked in like that. And that was causing the furnace to overheat. So I'll go ahead and slide a new filter in real quick. There you go. And just so you can have a better understanding of why that happens, the furnace has a high temperature switch in there or a high limit. If the furnace inside of here gets too hot, which usually will happen if there's not enough airflow going through, if it gets too hot, what happens is the burners will turn off and the fan will stay on. So after it cools itself off in a couple minutes, the burners will come back on and then it keeps doing that over and over and over. But some furnaces also have a lockout feature. If in one heating cycle it overheats three times in a row, it'll go into a lockout. So for three hours it will do nothing. Or maybe the fan will just stay on for three hours but no burners. If it's in a lockout, you don't even have to check if it is or not. An easy way to fix that is you can turn the switch off, wait for a while, turn it back on, and that kind of automatically resets that lockout and it starts over with those tries. So let's turn this off. And by the way, this is most likely to happen on colder days. When it's not as cold outside, chances are, even if it's overheating, you might not even notice it. But if it's colder outside and the temperature inside your house is dropping faster, then you're definitely going to notice it. Also, if you come down here and your fan is not running, your blower fan, especially if you're smelling like a burnt electric smell, that's kind of a game over right there. Um, that usually means that your blower fan motor is burnt out. An easy way to check this, almost all the time you'll be able to see this way, is by sticking your hand in the bottom here after you took the doors off of course and make sure you have the power off stick your hand in the bottom and there's a blower wheel in there try to spin it if that wheel is not spinning and when you try to spin it it's either like really stiff or it's not spinning at all then your blower motor is burnt out and you're gonna need a new motor well there you have it guys I fix a lot of furnaces for a living and this is one of the most common things I see is just the super dirty filter and by the way sometimes the filter will actually look really clean in that case, what you could try to do if you think it's not the filter is just simply take out the filter and try running the furnace for a while without the filter. If the problem resolves, well then you for sure know your problem was the filter. Because I know that sometimes uh, premium, really expensive filters can be a lot more restrictive. Sure, they might filter a little bit more stuff, but at the same time, they restrict a lot of the airflow causing a problem. Well guys, that is all I had for you today. Hopefully this will help somebody out. And if you have a success story of how this helped you out, please share with us in the comments below. Or if you had other problems that you were able to self-resolve, we would love to hear about them in the comments below as well. And if you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing for more videos like this one. Don't forget to mash that like button. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.